Guys, I know been delayed, but people are asking me about the Greenworks Electrio. We're gonna do a small unboxing, and I want to see if this thing really works or is it just smoke in this. Hey, y'all, for next. Look, I'm just gonna go ahead and get right to it. Hopefully. Hey guys, this is kind of when I open up the box. This is what you got. got. Instruction book. Probably won't read that. <laughs> then we got this right here. I mean, it, it looks it's, it's neatly packed. I like that. It's neatly packed. So let's 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 hey go guys, deep. I just want to show you kind of what you got here. You got the unit, this handlebar with the cord going to the unit. Then you got this cord going. Excuse me. This cord going to the unit. This cord. So when this would you plug it up? And you got this handlebar, these fasteners, and this is what's scaring me, man. <laughs> Alright, let me try to figure out how to put this thing together and I give me a sec. Okay, you are Finax. And look, I want to show you this as I go along. The handlebar, it didn't take but about five minutes. These little things right here are these little rakes up on the bottom i thought i thought i was going to put all this stuff on here but it's actually those if you can see it i'll match them up all right and i still got some more reading to do i just wanted to show you that real quick because i mean i i almost passed out when i saw this i was like i'm too old to be trying to put a jigsaw puzzle together okay you are finesse let me show you something real quick now when you get it it's going to come set just like this all right in order to adjust the wheel height, you gotta adjust both sides. You can't just adjust one side and the other side adjust. And the way you do it, you have to pull that up. I don't know if you saw that, I pulled it up. Then you twist it. All right, it's on setting two. Now setting two says, I think one eighth of an inch off the ground. Setting three, that's setting right there. That's three-eighths of an inch. When you get it, that's going to be at the bottom. And they say leave it in that when you're transporting. I guess when you're pushing across the ground. All right. Okay, you are for next. And hopefully you can see this. This little piece comes with it. Before you put this on, I mean, before you put this on, you got to put this on this first. Then assemble all the other stuff. But the way they want you to do it, this is the cord that's plugged up into the um, machine. You stick it through that loop first, then hook that on there. Like that. And that way, hopefully, it'll help you maintain that. Same cord. way here, I looped the, the cord that's plugged into it and the cord that came with it so they won't come apart. That's the start button right there. See that? I guess you push the start button. I hadn't used it yet. Then you push the handle up. And it should start going now one thing they say this is not a lawnmower so don't pull it backwards don't don't use it and then start pulling it backwards you just got to keep going forward um i got everything set so got it plugged up got power to it so let's, let's see how let's see how it works remember first time ever all right guys let's let's try this thing I want to say is when I was doing it that's how it looks up under there okay I had a tendency of I was trying to kind of lift up on the handlebars I just I want you to know everything. I was trying to while, while I was working it I was kind of pushing up on it but it's best just to let it pull itself and let the bottom stay like that 
and let it do itself. Remember, it's not a lawnmower, so don't get where you're going and start pulling it back because you really tear the grass up. So I'm going to change these settings right here to the next one, and I want to see what kind of results I get with that. Kind of hold it well. As far as I know, guys, it, it only has two settings, um, one eighth and three eighth. So I think I got on one eighth now, and I want to see how it does on that setting. Check it out. Okay, guys, and one thing that I, I, I hear, well, I don't hear in other videos is this is going to work better if you got somebody helping you with the cord. I mean, you can do it by yourself. Just to have an extra person to pull that cord, that's 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 the moment. Alright, so let's let's try to power, now I'm gonna turn it on. It's a little windy out here, I'm sorry for that, but that's kind of the debris that's kind of left over from it. I'm gonna lift this up so you can see it. And that's the lower setting right there. Get that out of there. It's not, it's not that, that bad. I mean, I see a little bit more. I see a little bit more. Now, bear in mind, my yard is not, I don't have a lot of thatch, but you see where it's pulling up that dead grass. And a lot of people want to go ahead and pull it up to uh, help the air, the water, and the fertilizer get closer to the soil and to the soil faster. Alright, so let me go ahead and knock this whole area out with this Greenworks um, electric dethatcher. I'll let you know what I feel about it. And you can see it, it took a light beating. Bear in mind guys, my yard is still somewhat in dormancy. And for somebody who will say, oh no, your yards, no. Look, the whole neighborhood is still dormant, all right? And here we are almost mid-April, somewhere around there. So, but I have dethatched it. To me, it doesn't look that bad. I don't see too much scarring. Uh, I didn't rip up any uh, dirt spots. Just letting you see it, let's get a little closer. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take hey guys, this. Guys, I'm just gonna be real. You know I try to keep it real. No, I don't try, I keep it real. For 120 something, 30 something odd dollars. This thing is BYD approved. Now, I've stated in the past, I'm not saying that defective. I'm telling you, because it's a lot of dang work, man. Because even with this, now I got to bag it up. And bear in mind, guys, I actually cut my yard before so I could take the grass down just a tad bit more so I can get a little bit closer to the soil. Uh, but now I got to get all this stuff up right here. And you can see we got clouds on the way. I'm trying to get some some other stuff down into the soil, so I got to get that up. But let me run this Greenworks 60-volt uh, Pro across it, and let's see how much thatch I actually collect. <music> even though we tore it still. But as far as appearance, it looks cleaner. I can see the ground a tad bit more. All right, you're still gonna have some of that stuff in there. I'm not trying to snatch all that up because I don't want to pull up good runners. 
but this thing is looking awesome. You can see the green is starting to come through. And uh, overall, I'm impressed. I mean, look, look at this. Look how clean it looks. Look how clean it looks. All right, so let's see how much we got um, bagged up. Okay, guys, so after using that bag right down the Greenworks, I got actually two bushels of it, two bags of it right there. And bear in mind, this is after I cut it this morning, and I got two this morning. So I got a total of four today, but two before and two after. So am I impressed using that Greenworks dethatcher? The answer is yes, guys. I mean, this is, I mean, look hey, at that. Let's get... So I'm right at an inch. You see that? And I love it. So before I go away, guys, I'm just going to run it down to you. What are some of the pros? The pros is this thing works. I mean, I'm just going to be real with you. This thing works. For a hundred and something odd dollar, it works. And not trying to sell anything, but, you know, I'm, if I use it, I want to try to get something off of it, guys. I got links in the description. You can order this directly from Amazon. You're having a couple of days. But if I had to choose between this and the one that you rent at the store... I would buy this one for a hundred and something odd dollars because the one you got to rent at the store, you're going to pay just about the same thing just to rent it. It doesn't tear up the grass. It's bad. Um, it's lightweight. Anybody can use it. I mean, male, female. Um, the, the One of the cons, I go back to it, is that freaking power cord. Now, having said that, guys, having said that, if you got some kids, I'm always about kids. You guys know that. This is the perfect time to bring your kids out. From what I've got, I'm going to that cord. But I would let my son or my young daughter use this thing. It's not dangerous. I mean, you know, you can tell them what to do. Great opportunity to get your family involved. Greenworks Deep Thatcher is a go. So, okay, guys, if this video has been helpful and you learned something, click that subscription button. Ring that notification bell every time BYD uploads a video, you will be notified by YouTube. Once again, you're tuned into Premier Grass Central with the Greenworks D Thatcher. Go get one, guys. Get one. Order it through the link. Don't go just blindly order. Order it through the link, guys. This is Michael Bowman, and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, you are for next. So you hung around for the bonus material. <laughs> like watching a marvel movie guys look this is about to go down right here i'm adding more pre-emergent to it for you guys that haven't put any down this year here we are april put you some pre-emergent down asap all right and here's the other but i'm putting down sunny land all natural fertilizer also and this is a bio solid guys you see me use this in the past if you can't get sunny land guys they have plenty of other ones they have the scots long food and it's okay. Then they got this right here. Now, this is actually, it has that stinky, stinky smell too. But that's a good product. And you also got milk organite. So, if you can't get Sunny Land All Natural, try to get the milk organite one of those products right there. But I'm, I'm double dosing it right now. And if you want to see this video, click on that corner right there. And you can watch that video now. Or click one of the other three videos that are on the page now.